Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Barlow, Director of the Cult Planetarium here at High Point University. Over the past few weeks, we've certainly missed seeing on campus all of our students, alumni, staff members, other faculty members, prospective students, and their families. We've had the privilege of hosting many of you in the planetarium over the past year, but for those who haven't been able to stop by yet, we've got a special treat today. We're going to give you a behind the scenes tour of our planetarium and what all it does here at High Point University. The Colt Planetarium is housed in the new Wannock School of Natural Sciences. This $65 million, 128,000 square foot facility features four stories of innovative labs and classrooms, as well as the Colt Planetarium. Students in biology, chemistry, physics, biochemistry, and neuroscience began learning in the facility's new state-of-the-art laboratories at the beginning of this academic year. One of the building's most prized features, and the focus of today's tour, of course, is the Colt Planetarium. Let's go on in. Welcome to what I consider to be the coolest undergraduate classroom in the entire country. The dome is 50 feet in diameter and tilted by 23 degrees. This allows viewers to look more straightforward during a show rather than straight up, giving a much more comfortable viewing experience. It's illuminated by two projectors, one at the front of the room and one at the back of the room. Each is a state-of-the-art dual laser system, the first of their kind, and together they illuminate the dome with a combined light of 50 cars with their high beams on. This results in one of the most vibrant and brightest images you'll see on a planetarium dome in the country. Together, we can accommodate 125 people under our dome at the same time in special reclining chairs that were custom designed for our space. To both educate and entertain students, faculty, staff, and the public, we utilize three main pieces of software. The first one we'll show you is Starry Night, our astronomy software. It allows us to reproduce the positions of all of the stars, constellations, planets, nebulae, galaxies at any time on any day from any location on the Earth. We can make constellations appear and disappear. We can make time run faster or slower. We can travel to different planets. The sky really is the limit with Starry Night, and it has revolutionized the way we've taught our introductory astronomy classes. The second piece of software we use is called the Layered Earth, which focuses on Earth science. It allows us to project an image of the Earth onto the dome. Not only can we fly to and look at any location on the Earth using high-resolution satellite imagery, we can also add data layers on top of the map of the Earth to look at things like temperature changes, cloud cover, ice caps, and much, much more. It's proven to be quite useful for teaching some of our environmental science classes. Finally, the third piece of software we use in the Colt Planetarium is called the Zygote Body. It's built for anatomy and physiology. It allows us to project onto the dome the male and female human figures with the position of every organ, every bone, every artery, every vein in the right spot based off of real data. We can move these figures up and down, rotate them, we can highlight certain parts of the body, we can make other parts of the body translucent, and just like Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus, we can fly into the body, literally enveloping students in anatomy as they learn about it in the classroom. I don't know about you, but I definitely did not learn anatomy this way in high school or college. In addition to using those three pieces of software to teach our students and the public, we also have purchased a wide array of what are called full dome movies. These movies cover a variety of topics, from astronomy to biology to earth science. We even have one on mathematics. Think of the best Discovery Channel or Science Channel documentary you have ever seen, but on steroids, built for the full dome and narrated by people like Liam Neeson or Benedict Cumberbatch. In the Birth of Planet Earth, audiences learn about the Solar Nebula Hypothesis, which describes how the Sun, the Earth, and the rest of the solar system formed from a giant cloud of gas and dust 4.6 billion years ago. 
We even think the moon formed from a Mars-sized object colliding with the young Earth, spewing molten lava into space that solidified into the moon we see today. Faster Than Light, the dream of interstellar travel discusses past technology we've built, current technology we're building, and future technology that one day might exist to get humans from Earth to the nearest stars. In Dynamic Earth, one of our Earth science movies, audiences explore the inner workings of Earth's great life support system, the global climate. They will ride along on swirling ocean and wind currents, dive into the heart of a monster hurricane, come face to face with sharks and gigantic wells, and fly into rolling volcanoes. We also offer a few movies for younger audiences like Dinosaurs at Dusk. This is a learning adventure of a father and his teenage daughter Lucy who share a fascination for all things that fly. They travel back in time to meet the ancestors of modern day birds, the feathered dinosaurs. Collectively, our three pieces of software and full dome movies allow us to teach our undergraduate students in extraordinary ways. We've taught astronomy in the planetarium, environmental science, first year seminars, we even have one of the nation's few planetarium operations courses in which we teach our own undergraduate students how to maintain and operate the facility. We also host occasional field trip visits for local K-12 students and their teachers with the goal of inspiring the next generation of scientists in the NC Triad. The educational and outreach efforts we've discussed today were made possible through the generous support of others, like the Culp family, whose gift helped bring the Culp Planetarium to life. With the continued support of alumni, families, faculty, staff, and students, we hope to achieve new heights in the future. So with that, thank you so much for joining us on this day for HPU, and as always, don't forget to keep looking up.